Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with your three lords in their demand. Well, yes, of course my inventory is full. What am I trying to pick up? A knife again? One knife is more than enough. Hey, dude. Oh, hey, dude. Can you break this wall for me so I can come see you closer? No? Okay. Oh, you're right here now. So many little distractions in this place. Hello. Look at him trying to stab me and all that. Was that uh, an attempt at alacrity? What should we call it? The move fast speed pump deal? I didn't see you there, sir. What is the purpose of you guys even having doors and walls? Like, what were you doing here before I arrived? If now you're breaking them all down. Does these rooms don't really seem to connect up otherwise? So it really does seem to be a matter of them just going like... Yeah, we'll... We'll only start uh, using... You know, moving around the place once our visitors arrive. And they knew to expect me specifically, you'll see. Hello? Maybe they can look into that room now. You doing okay? Well, we're gonna assume as much. Right, next section. All right, this is this room. I already forgot about this room. Can I do it like this? Hit you once, move away. So you don't get stunned? So just move around. Punch him a little. Then get back to one. Punch them a little. Maybe even twice. Twice isn't good. Twice stuns me. Let's not do twice. Just uh, go there. Hit them once. Move back. And get on with business. You sir seems to be reloading. Probably to try and kill me. I'm not a fan of that activity. Okay, that's one down. So this strategy works. Oh, hello. Bonus friends. Probably because I actually managed to kill one by now. And that's two down. And the last one? Did they leave the room? Is that why the door opened? Oh, hello. You are a vampire. What does that sound? But not really a vampire. But did you get all of those n nifty buffs and stuff? Okay, I'm gonna have to have a drink here in just a moment. Like now. That's a moment. It's a good moment to have a nap drink. Because my health was getting quite used up by all of this. And there's some people over there that aren't about to shoot me. Oh, is that the noise I heard? You were getting puffed by someone? Or were you self puffing? Hi all. Oh, that's a coffin. I was like, ooh, is that something I can loot? 
But no, this is a bedroom. Some people have brought their beds upstairs. I mean, there's no windows in this place. By the looks of it. So it's not like they have to worry about daylight anyway. But I guess this about do love that, uh, you know, are fans of that classic look of being all powerful vampire overlords and controlling everything and having naps in the middle of a coffin. That, that actually is inconvenient. I guess I have to go this way. That's, that's a lot of inconvenience. I think I may have to drink soon. I don't know if I'm dead yet. I'm hoping no. But I did just refill my health, so we are fine. And since we are in the middle of some pretty serious combat, I think I will recover that... Uh, Blood sack in absolutely no time. Probably maybe even time to face Andre again because as we all know he is a pretty important support character. This looks like the sort of place where you would love to have a flamethrower maybe. Just to okay, take care of multiple bastards at a time. But on the other hand, we do have snacks. Everywhere. This is snack county. Oh hey! You're new. Did I knock you down and not kill you? <gasps> Am I all uh, full on ammo on everything now? Not everything, no. Can I open this door? Can I get on the floor? Alright, oh, this was this corridor. Alright, let's go down. Take the elevator. So I didn't remember it being like that. some reason what I remember is her being strung up on a rusty pole like a beam oh well I'm sorry Heather oh someone here has some sort of aura stuff going on uh, get away from the cattle please I don't want to kill your cattle because that's that sounds just cruel and inhumane So let's... yeah, let's not do that. Oh! Can I get that out of this bar? I'm sorry, Heather. There we go! Should accomplish. You bastard, are you saying I can't shoot? Wait, no, you're saying I should shoot. But oh, that's hysteria. That's not what I had in mind. Yes, this is entirely exciting. I should watch out for the holy flame. Can I go through this? Like, odds are it will hurt. Or it will hurt a lot. But, yeah, I could go through that. That's fine. And the, the whole hurting business can be just solved by drinking up a dude. That's fine. Uh, so... 
you seem to be distracted from a much more urgent problem, which is me. I'm a very urgent problem. Cool. Can you open the store now? No. Oh, there's a corridor here that we can go down. Cool. Which makes me now wonder if that whole battle there was even necessary. But the door probably only opened once. Once the guy was there. That's really cool ability style. Alright. Okay, let's give it a quick save. Oh, the game must save by auto save anyway. But they double the save. Doesn't. It only makes it more difficult for me to edit, but other than that, it's fine. Ooh, what do we have? We have 15 experience. What would we like to do with that? I honestly don't know. You've been waiting for me. I recognize the smell of your blood, young canine. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? Again, I will extinguish your evil light. Puppet! The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel. The blood is wasted in you. Wasted! No one pulls the strings of this puppet. Miserable, ignorant gutter spawn. You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. What fear have you of this fable? Wait, no, no, the Dark Father has come. I will do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. Inside the furious fire, the pyre burns. Die, false prophet. Yeah, that that is absolutely accurate information. Zulo shape. You gonna be a shark in the blood? Blood shark. Blood shark. Oh, come back here. I was done with you. Blood shark. Bloodshark. I could give myself extra strength to be honest. Bloodshark. Or let's see what my other options are. Stamina. Gives me more resistances. Actually no, that's that's not a bad idea. Bloodshark. Oh come on. You hurt me. Yeah, as I previously mentioned, this plot back should be okay by now. Well, not incredibly okay, but it can do. Where are you to go upstairs? You can hear footsteps. Oh, you did go upstairs. That's fine. Get, get back out here. I'm nearly done with you. There we go. Dead baby. Okay, dexterity, wits. Oh, hey, if I go for wits, actually, that means I can all specs. Wait, did I upgrade my all specs? No, I did not. So now I can all specs to hacking level 10. That's good. It's really good. In fact, that's quite handy. Well. You still dead? I'm sure there's an exit around you somewhere. This is a beautiful work of art, to be honest. This... Eh... Lacks imagination. This... 
No, it's a step down from that one. That on the other hand. You can never go wrong with a chandelier. Oh, all these chandeliers are pretty nice. Anyway, really, sure. how do I how do I continue? The prince will be as happy as a little girl when I tell him. Can I climb up this? Or was this the torch that I could activate? Well, do I need to have inventory space to pick up a torch? Is it a weapon? But what would I drop? Okay, I'll drop the arm for now because if this is a... Yeah, that's a weapon. That's not what I wanted. Uh, what I was hoping for was that this was like... Yeah, it's fucking medieval on some of this. But no. We shall not become unarmed. How do we leave this place again? Like this is not my first party. I've been down here before. But I just really can't remember. These are all just the picky uppy torches. None of these torches are for party. But we want the party torch. Was it supposed to take me out of here automatically? Or... Oh, it was possible to relatively simply climb out of the pit. Peace, kindred. You stand amongst friends now. The Shadow Warriors showed no friendship at the Giovanni Doom. Indeed. The Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of LaCroix, it was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. What of your lewd liaisons with LaCroix? We did have an arrangement, LaCroix and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. Tell me a tale. LaCroix's zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. The Chester is often the king's downfall. LaCroix feared Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, for the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about LaCroix's ambitions. The ale of truth is downed ambitiously. LaCroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems, a hardened rebel leader and a problematic primogen in one fell stroke. And as you can see, I was integral to his plan. I could see your face. I, I saw all. I saw every one of your triangles. Triangles. Yes, Lacroix. Yeah. Ah, oh, the Mistress of Mirrors shows another of her faces. Lacroix convinced me that an alliance with a Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Quay Jin, and so, with my help, your prince framed Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout. It was your face at the mansion of the Mad Doctor. Yes. You were made to be the witness, for your political naivete put your word beyond reproach. No one would believe you devise such a story. LaCroix used you and once again turned a problem to his advantage. Yes, why did this web become unwoven? Our dealings with LaCroix have put his integrity into question. He has become careless. His desire for the sarcophagus seems to have superseded all other concerns, including political discretion. Or converts? It is obvious to me that he wishes to obtain it, only so that he might use its power against those who would oppose him. If he betrays his own kind in these pursuits, can I trust him to honor our allegiances? Can you? Why do you fret over my fate, mistress? You need to understand that you are a liability, kindred. Once LaCroix finds the right moment, you will be disposed of, just as he did with Alistair Grout, Mr. Rodriguez, your sire, and countless others. I took for him that current box. You are no more to him than an entry on his ledger. A sum of that which can be bled from you. I shall find that current key and the Chester and I together with Dancy Chig. Hear these words, kindred. 
The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. Fate is often a perilous puzzle. I hope you recognize my sincerity, Kindred. I would like to see you reach your destination before your path is cut short. I hope when next we meet, it is again as friends. I'm no longer here. Well, I've never actually tried siding with the Great Chain. Mm. My friend is dead. My little friend. I also haven't, still haven't found everything that I could for Gary. Was it? Yes, it was. I think that it'll be fine for now. Let's go watch the the prince dance a cheek, the Chester one. Just as loud dancing. Hey there. Hello. Can you believe what happened the other night? I couldn't come into work on account I bought a tamale from a street vendor and got to scoot something terrible. What a lucky thing too, because that food poisoning saved my life. I am smiles that you are not under the side. I am expected. I guess you can go on up. He wasn't expecting you, but it should be all right. Nobody expects the Malkavian Inquisition. But do you expect him to be killed by the Sabaud? Box. Hello. The Sabaud. File on this dinosaur for extinct. Another obstacle is removed. From the enemy, we resurrect a new order. And this, in no small part, to your service. <laughs> Did you hear that? You were never able to wipe them out completely. Keep it up, and you may have his job. My unstoppable crusader. My victories in this city are in no small part due to you. You've done what I've asked without question, and you've done it well. Take this small token of my appreciation. We'll rule this city side by side, you and I. Still interested in the key to that box? You found the key? Where? Who has it? The hand of the goddess Quijin, the very hand you shook in alliance. This nonsense again! Look, I told you before, no kindred would ever ally themselves with those demons. This is a subterfuge, a trick to start a civil war. And apparently, it's worked. Shell wears the skins of her rims. In Nines' skin, she slew her brimogen. As of this moment, there is no blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez. The Quajin have revealed their plot. <laughs> they want us to war against each other? Well, to that I propose an alliance with the Anarchs. Together, we kindred shall drive out these foreigners once and for all. <laughs> Never. Never. No threat to their lives, barely even to their way of life. The Quajin would eradicate us all but they have not the numbers to do so, which is why a civil war would be convenient for them. You do not waste words, so it is me you're sending. Go to the last round immediately. Tell them the Quajin have admitted to killing Grout, and that the blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez is officially over. Tell them I have realized the true threat the Quajin pose, and wish to negotiate a pact. You will be my emissary for the Alliance, so naturally, you speak on behalf of the Camarilla. Choose your words carefully. I will begin organizing plans for war. Good luck. The prosperity of all this city's kindred depends on your success tonight. Oh, well, that sounds like for we are all. <laughs> you can't spell success without whatever the hell my name is. Karen. You can't spell the name success without Karen. At least, so I've heard. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will go to the last round and there and there. We'll just uh, go about and stop by home as well because we probably have some emails. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.